college, a place where you reinvent yourself and try and figure out who you really are. And the campus and all its students and just finding new friends and finding your path is great. But when you're blind, it's something that is new. It's something that is exciting and fun, especially if you're leaving your home. And then again, how do blind people do it? How do they go to college and what do they need to do to prepare? Because we don't just buy our textbooks and go to one class to the other and take tests like that. Everything has to have a schedule. Everything has to be in order. The first thing you really have to do is, like every like everyone else, you take your assessment test just to see where you land, what classes like English or math are you gonna need. So you go to the department for disabled student services so they can help you get your things that you need either in large print or in braille, however, however you wanna take your test. You take your test, you get double time, and then you do land in whatever course you take. And once you're in college, you have to decide how you're going to do things. Are you going to use a computer? Are you going to use a MacBook? Are you going to use a Dell? Are you going to use a CCTV? Are you going to use a brown or brown sense? Whatever. It's not all about pencil and paper here. Knowing that you're going to have to be responsible and ask your teachers for accommodations and, and be vocal about how you learn and how the teaching curriculum is going on because when I was in college I was all over the place and yes I would ask them to get me my tests before the test was being taken but I never thought of giving the syllabus to the teacher so I was kind of behind sometimes and then if you take psychology courses they move through chapters really fast and and I was always falling behind you had to write a, a summary for each chapter and I feel like I should have been a little more prepared or I should have paid attention more and I should have done things better but college in general is very accessible and very uh, easy to do if you're blind and you just have to be prepared like if you're planning to go to college just know the ins and outs of the school know your rights know what you really need and just stay on it honestly because teachers are just doing their job and the courses keep moving like, the only thing that i feel like wasn't accessible to me and was very difficult was math no matter who would tutor me but then again in high school i was never good at math numbers are not my thing and a lot of steps are not my thing because i totally get lost and i don't know what you're talking about so no so those um math was really hard because everything was so visual and i wasn't able to they didn't accommodate me with giving me a closed caption tv a magnifier some way to see the screen and i was not able to learn that well and i got this awesome teacher that would just pass her students and you just had to tell her why she was great and the technology's come so far and if you're thinking of going to college if you're thinking that that's your path then you should totally try it out it's not something that cannot be done people say it's not accessible it's difficult it's only if you're not prepared and it's only if you make it difficult you just have to find someone that knows the ins and, ins and outs of college that really knew how to be responsible stay on it took their courses got good grades just find a mentor like that and i'm pretty sure you'll be fine but if you go in alone and unknowing and you'll be lost that is not a good thing to do i just wanted to go to college just to go to college and do something and but i just honestly wanted to have fun and did i learn something in college yeah responsibility and yeah i memorized a lot of things and books and tests and i loved going to the starbucks in the corner and boba but other than that nothing really stuck if you're someone that loves school and is interested and just hesitant of going to college you should honestly give it a try you might meet new people and you'll find like the clubs you'll fit in and it just seems so exciting if you stay in campus i didn't get to stay in campus but i honestly think if i were in campus it'd be so much fun and i think you'd meet a lot of people to study or do work with and it just seems like an amazing experience 
The only reason I made this video is because people say, what do you do? Does the government take care of you? Or what do you do? Do you go to the blind school? Like, no, I don't go to a blind school. And yeah, I go to college and I'm studying for a degree. And then they're like, oh, wow, that's great. Uh, and then they ask you what you're studying for. But people don't really know uh, what blind people are capable of until you tell them because the world is so big and our community is so small and we're not giving credit where it's needed and there are blind attorneys and there are blind engineers and there are blind editors and blind singers and oh my gosh just anything anything can be done as long as you find a way to do it it all depends on you and it all depends on your drive and it just depends on how badly you want something because if you want something really bad you're gonna go for it even if it's hard even if it's like you've never been to college and you're freaking out because you are not tech savvy and you don't know what you need it's okay if you don't know what you need you'll figure it out i thought i was just gonna go through college with a macbook pro but then i thought i can't take notes that fast i need a braille sense, something I could write in braille, something that's faster for me and that worked for me. Or maybe you need a note taker. Then you get a note taker for free. And you know what? The best thing is they get paid. So you don't have to feel bad that they're taking your notes for you. It just depends how the notes are and if you understand what they're saying and how they're writing it. But other than that, that's great. And they do braille, large print, whatever you need, digital. I remember when I was going to college and in high school they're like always told me they're not gonna have braille books and they're not gonna have you're gonna have to listen to everything i'm all like oh my god i'm not good at listening to anything and i'm not gonna learn because but they don't they have everything still in braille and you're able to list learn however you want to learn don't believe what people say because they're just trying to freak you out and they try and the think make you feel like you're not gonna be able to structure things even when you're editing a uh, essay Yes, they want things structured. Yes, they want everything paragraphs indented and Times New Roman and all that stuff. But you can do it. You can do it. Just don't feel like you can't do it. If you want to go to college and if you want to get a degree, just do it. It's, it's possible. But if you don't want to go to college, don't beat yourself up. Because there's different avenues and different ways to get to where you would need to be. And just look for what you need and be sure to always ask and always be hungry to learn no matter what you decide either school or no school there's still other learning avenues and there's still other opportunities and no matter what people say you do what you know is best for you and thank you for watching this video and subscribe and like if you like it and comment down below, did you decide to go to college? Are you not in college? And let me know how it's going for you.